Hello, good evening. How are you? 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 Hello, good evening. Hello. Hey, what's going on? How are you? How do you feel today? I am I'm fine. Okay. I am fine. How was Thank your you. day? Very good. How was your day? Fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. What did you do today? I am um, eat and rest. <laughs> nice. Eat and rest. The good life. The life of the rich and famous. No, the life imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent, excellent. Okay, are you ready for your English class? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, yes okay. teacher. Ready. Excellent, excellent. Uh, who can tell me what do you remember about yesterday's class? What topics did we look at? What vocabulary do you remember, etc.? Imperatives. Imperatives. Can you give me an example? Uh, rest. Rest. Mm -hmm. Pre uh, preposition of place. Very good. Prepositions of place. Can you give me examples of prepositions of place? What is an example of the prepositions of place? On. On. At. Next to. At, next to uh, behind. Behind. On the corner of. On the corner of. Across from. Across from. Okay, very good. Um, who can tell me where is Hotel Intercontinental? Where is Hotel Intercontinental? Metro Centro. Yeah, right. in front, in front very of Metro good. Yes, in front of Metro oh. Centro. In front of Metro Center. Where is oh, the zoo? Where is the zoo? The, the zoo. The zoo. ¿A dónde está el zoológico? Oh. So, eh, zoológico y is um zoológico o zoo 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 zoo, zoo. is uh, ubicación um, located no ubicación located Located. Yeah. Uh, the zoo, zoo next, is next, located next to, to Institut Arce. Very good. Or the zoo is in front of Pollo Campero. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we are going to review. I would like for us to review the prepositions of location from yesterday's class. This is a refresh. Este es un repaso solo para refrescar eh, las preposiciones que vimos ayer. Es un repaso. 
Por favor, mantengan sus micrófonos en silencio. Oh, sorry. No era este. Oh, sí, sí era este. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well... There's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following. All right. So this is a pequeño repaso de lo que vimos ayer. Um, at this moment, does anybody have questions about this information? Alguna pregunta sobre esta información? Questions, questions about this information? No. Nobody? 
No question. No, teacher. Okay. Let's move forward to the next activity. For the following activity, we're going to do a listening exercise. You are going to listen to this audio. Vaya. Page 89, exercise six. Listen. So you're going to look at the picture. Where is it? And look answer the, the question. In exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency movie theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. All right. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? So, the first one, where are they going? Luff's department store, the bank, or Maria's restaurant? The bank. The wow. bank. The bank is correct. All right. So I would like for you to answer all the questions. Practice the listening. Any questions? Right now, at this moment, any questions? No, did you? Do you do you understand the activity? Yes. Yeah. Does yes. everybody understand the activity? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. I would like for you to practice the audio in pairs, and then we're going to practice together as a class. Ready? Let's go. <clears throat> Uh, Christian. A ver, déjenme ubicarla, por favor. La primera sí era el banco, ¿verdad? Ban, de ban, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. el, luego. La segunda es Davis Drugstore. La segunda es Davis Drugstore. La sí. lobería, farmacia Davis, ¿no? Sí. A ver. Let's, 
Casi no escucho el video, fíjense. Ya anda, casi no lo escucho. Casi no. La tercera es de María, María, el restaurante de María, María Restaurant. María Restaurant, María Restaurant, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. La próxima me sale. Aquí está, Checo no venía. El favorite shoes, dice. ¿Cuál es la cuatro, Yandal? La cuatro, dice. Where are the, the, they going? Where are they going? Favorite shoes. Fa favorite shoes. Sí. sí. Favorite shoes. Sí. Yo no sé qué pasa. Yo casi no le escucho el video, fíjese. Bien. Bueno. Quiero avanzar. Si logro escuchar un poco ¿eh? Page 89. Exercise 6. Listening. Oh, sí. Very good. Sí, sí, Look back in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue, between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on. Good evening, compañeros. Good evening, Jose. Bueno, a mí mi internet me acaba de regresar aquí a la casa, he estado viviendo fuerte. No sé si hay alguna actividad, me he perdido bastante de la clase. Eh, sí, con las compañeras acabamos de terminar de discutir el audio y ya lo respondimos. Pero sí que sección? le damos le damos con vos. ¿Qué sección era de, del audio? Estábamos ayer, creo que... Le... Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Finish. All right, Finish. let's check. Number two, please. One volunteer. Um, me, teacher. Okay. Is two. Where are they going? Teacher. No, no. no. I'm sorry, can you repeat? Okay, where are they going? Uh, Davis Drug Store. Excellent. Davis Drug Store. Perfect. Uh, number three, Fatima. 
Number three. Where are they going? Where are they going to my restaurant? Maria's restaurant. Good. Number four. Evis. Um, where are they going? Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Perfect. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary? No. Okay. All right. At this moment, guys, we are going to go ahead and turn on the cameras because we need to take the picture for the attendance. Uh, please turn on your cameras for one minute um, just so that we can take the picture and then you can turn off the camera. Okay, ready? Everybody say cheese. Okay, una más. Ready? Everybody say cheese. Cheese. Excellent. Okay. Puede apagar su cámara si quiere. Now we are going to look at the next one. The next one is going to be the attendance. Cuando llame su nombre, por favor, dígame presente. Ana Lisette. Present. Brenda Susana. Present, teacher. Cristian Lisandro. Present, teacher. Cindy Janet. Present, teacher. Claudia Beatriz. Claudia Alfaro. Claudia Marisol Rivera. Daris Rivera. Present teacher. Diego Serrano. Present teacher. Erasmo Mendoza. Present teacher. Eric Rivas. Eric, por favor, mantenga su micrófono en silencio. Eric Rivas. Present teacher. Fátima Hernández. Present teacher. Glenda Borja. Glenda Borja. Present. Okay. Okay, alguien tiene su micrófono encendido. Okay. One more time. Eh, vamos con Glenda Borja. Present. Jendel Goches. Present teacher. Jennifer Granados. Present. Eremías Rivas. Present. George Angel. Present, teacher. Jose Torres. Present, teacher. Karen Sandoval. Presente. 
Karen Sosa. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present. Katia Vivas. Present. Katia Sanchez. Present teacher. Manuel de Jesus. Monica Benitez. Present teacher. Nedi Ivis. Present teacher. Noemi Gabriel. Present teacher. Rose Maria del Milagro. I'm here. Santos Martinez. Present teacher. Silvia Garcia. Silvia Garcia. Present teacher. Jacqueline Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. So, tenemos ausente Mar Manuel de Jesús. Claudia Roxana, Claudia Beatriz. Okay. Present teacher. Who is present? Casi no se escucha bien, entonces por eso, pero present. Ok, ¿cuál es su nombre, por favor? Claudia Beatriz Alfaro. Ok. Gracias. So, gracias. So, Claudia Roxana Mendoza is absent. No, it's present. Ah, está present, ok. All right. Ah, pues sí. Solo está uno ausente, Manuel de Jesús. Ok, good. All right, thank you guys. Now we are going to go ahead and move forward to the following activity. For the following activity, we are going to be looking at this section. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán cómo pedir y dar direcciones. Además, practicará una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Listen, please. Listen, please. Position title, is it far from here? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Is It Far From Here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. 
how do I get to and we mention a place or how can I get to then we mention a place for answers walk up go up walk down go down turn left on turn right on on the right on the left make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions now let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up the first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point where are you located and where do you want to go let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows how do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center the first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue and we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral the question would be how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral the first instruction would be walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library the question would be how do I get to New York Public Library or how can I get to New York Public Library the first instruction would be walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue so what is the next step to get to New York Public Library for that we would use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on depending on where the destination is so to answer that question we will say turn right on 42nd Street so what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street for that we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left so in this case it's on the left now it's your turn to practice I would like for you to give directions using this map all right everybody listen and repeat additionally you'll practice a conversation which illustrates we're going to look at the conversation in a real life so setting. on this conversation this we're going to practice listening? in pairs excuse me ma'am excuse me ma'am ma can, can you help me can you help me how do i go to saint patrick's cathedral just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. 
one more time. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. Yes. Yeah. St. Patrick's is on the right. St. Patrick's is on the right. It is near Rockefeller Center. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Excellent. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this information? Yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ST? S. ST. Saint. Yes. Saint. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Another question? Eh, sí, yo. Catedral, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ah, cathedral. 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 Mm -hmm. Y en el caso de este, los números, eh, ¿se pronuncia la TH o solo el número? Correct. Yes. Se pronuncia la TH. 50th Street. 50th Street. Ok. En el caso de, de Center, escuchaba que básicamente no pronuncia la T, ¿verdad? Eh, no muy fuerte. Rockefeller Center. Es una T muy suave. Ok. Thanks. Thank you. Teacher, Another question. Cuando dice, cuando dice right begging you, ¿qué más se pronuncia esa palabra? Uh, donde dice Beg, begging donde B H I N D ah ah behind uh, you it's right ah, behind you behind you está behind cabal you. atrás de ti it's right behind you I have a question teacher yes it's about on the right and on the left on ¿Cómo the right. traducirlo? ¿Es sobre la derecha o sobre la izquierda? Como para complementar la dirección. That is correct. On the right es a la derecha. On the left es a la izquierda. Ah, ok. Yo pensé que era sobre la derecha. Mm -hmm. No, no. Eh, es a la derecha. Ajá, ajá. Por ejemplo, tú dices, es que eh, Galerías está... A la derecha de Paseo Escalón. Galerías is on the right of Paseo Escalón. Ok, it's clear. Y, y también si quieres decir Galerías está sobre el Paseo Escalón. Galerías is on Paseo Escalón. Mm, sobre es, es, es como más común, ¿verdad? That is correct. Ayer vimos un ejemplo, sí. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now I would like for everybody to practice this conversation. Everybody practice this conversation in pairs. No, mandar al WhatsApp, like. 
session teacher. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Ready, let's work in pairs. George Alberto, George Alberto no entró a la sesión privada. Let's say that we are and look up. We're going to practice. Is it in Rockefeller Center? Lo hacemos en pareja. Bien, ya lo tienen. Sí. Eh, comienzan ustedes y luego me incluyen. Alguien me ayuda, por favor, de las dos. Ok. ¿Quién va a ser usted, Karen? Uh, es, si gusta, empieza usted. Ok. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cafe World? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 58th Street. Sí, usted, ah, San Patrick's is on the right. It's near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It, is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay. Ahora, that is... Ahora... Bien. Inicio yo o inicia usted. Inicia usted y menciona el nombre de quien quiere que le responda. <laughs> eh, ya sería Karen. Okay. Bien. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do you I get to St. Patrick's um, Casserole? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 58th Street. Uh, Santa Patrick's is on the right. It is near Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Ah, permit. Uh, tengo hay otra pregunta, perdón. It, 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 is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay. Ahora con la otra chica. Inicio eh, siempre yo o cómo? Si gusta podemos intercambiar. O... Va, entonces, eh, ¿usted va a iniciar? Va. O inicio yo. Inicio usted. Okay, well, okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? 
eh, perdón, voy a iniciar de nuevo. Excuse me, ma, um, can you help me? How do you I get to say Patrick Carrier? Eh, casi, perdón. Just wait, wake up. Fifth Avenue to fix, fifty, fifty H Street. Stay, Patrick is on the right. It is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Uh, thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It is, it, no, is it far from here? It's right be, behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay. Uh, ahora sí, eh, empiezo yo. Y... Bien, está bien. Sí, porque yo no he, no he dicho ah, las yo otras la segunda. palabras Bye. ahí. Excuse me, mom. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Eh, just, just, well. Perdón. I'm, um, well. Ajá, es como... Contractado. Disculpe, teacher. Y ese ma'am, si no estuviera contractado, ¿cómo sería su escritura? Madame. 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 Y así se escribiría todo unido y así como se escucha. Madame. Madame. Correct. M. A. D. A. M. Madame. 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 Ok. Y en la contracción, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Madam. Madam. Ma'am. 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 Es con A. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ah. Ah, ma'am. 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 Es que se escucha como ma'am, pero es ma'am. 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 Ok, thanks. Thank you. Hoy hacemos el cambio, Noemi. Yo soy tourist y usted es goma. Vaya. Vaya. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do you I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 15th Street. St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay. Hoy con Monica. Vaya. Esta quería ser woman, verdad? Yes. Vaya. Tú serías woman. Tourist. Tourist. Oh, okay. Excuse me, man. You, perdón, man. Can you help me? How do I head to Saint Patrick Cathedral? Just go up 
by Avenue to Fifth Street, St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it is right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. You turn around and look up. Okay. Voy con Noemi ahora. Okay. Okay. ¿Cuál sería usted? Ah, si quieres, soy turista. Bye. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do you get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind, behind you. Just turn around and look up. Cambiarán de nuevo ustedes. Bye. Ah, pues esta vez yo soy Cuomo. O quieres ser turista, no Noemi. Ah, ¿cómo sea? Ah, pues yo soy Cuomo. ¿Usted es Cuomo? Ajá, o con la, con la anterior. All right, let me have two volunteers. All right, Karen and Rosa Maria. Karen, you are the tourist. Rosa Maria, you are the woman. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fight Avenue to Fight Street. Fifth Saint Patrick's Street. Right. Fifth Street. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it is right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the where and and where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It is right behind you. You turn around and look up. Perfect. Perfect. Let me have two more volunteers. Jeremiah's cutting action. Jeremiah's, you are the tourist. Jeremiah's, you are the tourist. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get a gap to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up. Fifth Avenue to 58th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. All right. Good job. Excellent work. Now, what you are going to do is you're going to write a similar conversation 
in the discussion forum. But I want you to do it something like in El Salvador. Um, for example, going from Hotel Intercontinental to La Gran Villa, or Hotel Intercontinental to Multiplaza, or something like that. You invent uh, something local in El Salvador. Any questions? No. No. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Pero me me perdí. Me regalé. En la lectura de, de en la conversation de yes. Is it far from ah, okay. here, donde está el, el, el Empire State. Sí. Ok, no sé si quiere que practiquemos rapidito, que ya son las 10. Ok, ese ya lo practicamos. Ya, yes, Ahora... solo sería prácticamente eh, hacer una conversación similar a la que está ahí. Oh, okay. Una conversación similar a esa. Yes. Este, preguntando direcciones. Ajá, por ejemplo, no sé, la dirección de la catedral o eh, donde se encuentra oh, el museo. Met, met, Metrocentro, por ejemplo. Excuse ah, me, can you help me how do, how do I get to Metrocentro? Ajá, yes. Ajá. Así, entonces así hay que hacerlo. Ok. Eso sería una conversación con direcciones inventadas. Yes. Uh -huh. Sí, porque por el momento no tenemos una dirección exacta. No. Ok. Podemos, podemos hacer multiplaza. Multiplaza, sí, cualquier lugar. Que, que, Ajá. Que ¿Cómo empezaría la frase? Sería eh. así, como preguntando, excuse me, can you help me? Ajá. How do I get to multiplaza, por ejemplo? Ajá. Vamos a ver. How do you... I get to multiplas.
uh, sería tipo it, it, it is located on the Pan American Highway. Highway, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Uh -huh. O sea, que Multiplaza se encuentra so, sobre la uh, carretera Panamericana. Ahí sería Road. 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 Road, oh. carretera. Uh, road Panamericana. On Road. On Road Street Panamericana. On the Panamericana. Pues street road, no sé, un street road, creo, street main, algo así, street road. Ajá. Uh -huh. Un street, o road street, bueno, street road. All right, guys, eso les va a quedar de tareas. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Good Bye. Night. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye. Que disfrute la tormenta. Aquí ya pasó. Right. <laughs> ya pasó ah, okay. Pues para acá viene. Ya está en la playa, teacher. Hey, qué cool. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.